Hello everyone, my name is Crystal Duarte. I'm the Employment Services Supervisor here at FedCap We Care. And in today's topic of Pathways to Employment, uh, we want to speak about economic empowerment and how we can utilize that to increase our financial success moving forward. Um, so I just wanted to you know, start with a personal story um, and give you a little background about myself. I um, was also growing up, I, I was also poor growing up, right? So I was very, very much poor. I relied heavily on government assistance. I relied heavily on public assistance. And um, I didn't necessarily know how to come out of being poor, right? I didn't know how to climb my way out. Um, I just know that I was sick and tired of being poor. Um, so I wanted to change my situation. Uh, at one point, I was couch surfing. So I literally went from friend's house to friend's house, sleeping on couches, not having a stable place for myself, not knowing where to send my mail or, or whatnot. Uh, I actually ended up in a shelter. Uh, and, and it got to a point where I was like, okay, I just needed to change my situation. Um, so I was able to start with a few entry level jobs, jump from one job to the next, built my resume up and, and quickly learned that even though I was getting money and receiving an income, I didn't necessarily know how to spend my money. And, and so my, my check came, as soon as it came, it basically went out the window as fast as it came. If it was as fast as it went. Um, so I needed to learn how to spend my money more uh, smartly. And the way that I did that was I, I started to recognize things that I was spending money on. Uh, for one, I was spending a lot of money on entertainment. I wasn't putting any money into my savings account. And the other thing too was I didn't prepare for bills in advance. It just kind of came as it came and I spent whatever I could spend, uh, leaving me with nothing. Um, Eventually, I created a budget and I was like, okay, well, this is how much I'm going to get for this month. I know I'm possibly going to get two or three checks for this month. How can I break up my checks where I could spend it smartly and still feel like I'm getting somewhere? Um, so the first thing you want to do is break down everything like in a jar. So you want to have a glass jar and you kind of want to use those glass jars and put money in them, right? Put money in all those, those glass jars. So the first glass jar is your necessities, your bare necessities. You want to put about 55% into your bare necessities. And what I mean by that is your bills, right? Uh, cell phone bill, uh, light bill, uh, electric bill, all right? Uh, I wanted to say, but, <laughs> uh, but you, you, you get the gist, your rents. So your basic necessities would have to go into this jar. Uh, groceries, transportation. A lot of times we don't talk about transportation. It's a huge chunk from your budget. Um, so you want to make sure this is what I'm spending on these bills. This is what I'm spending on transportation. This is what I'm spending on, on, on groceries. And you want to put 55% of your budget into that jar. So that's jar number one. Jar number two, your entertainment jar, all right? What is it that you like to do? Obviously, we, our life can't be all work and it has to be some play in it, right? Uh, so think of this as your play jar. You wanna put about 10% in your, your play jar. So whether it's entertainment, it's, whether it's movies, whether it's karaoke night, paint night, whatever the case may be, 10% should go into that entertainment jar every single day, all right? The third jar, long-term savings. Um, so any indicator of any financial success, the first thing they're gonna ask is, do you have a savings account? Um, the reason why that's so crucial is because a savings account indicate that you wanna save for your future, right? That's why most um, banks ask for that when you're applying for credit cards. It, it's, a, it's a very huge essential part. And what you wanna do is you wanna save 10% into that long-term savings uh, uh, jar. So whether that's a re retirement fund, mutual bonds, stocks, and you can also see a little bit more about that with the work readiness videos and, and Keith Reed. Um, savings is very, very crucial. So putting away 10% of your check into that will help a huge deal, okay? Your fourth jar. All right, so let's talk about your fourth job, education. All right, if you have small children, or maybe if you don't have children at all, maybe you just wanna pursue extra studies to help you know, build your resume and get better jobs, um, put 10% in your education. All right, save away some money that would help pay for tuition. Uh, same thing with education, vice versa, it's childcare. So you kind of put that in the same jar, right? If you have children and you need to work, you know, how am I gonna pay for childcare? So making sure that you put at least 10% of that to cover those ends. The fifth jar is private reserves for a rainy day or maybe like a special day, you know, whatever you want to label it. So this private reserve here is, let's say you, 
worked so hard. You worked and you're six months on a job, you finally get that vacation, and you can now um, think about where you want to go. Uh, so a private reserve is basically that. Like, let's say I need a thousand dollars for my vacation. I'm gonna put a little bit, put a little bit, put a little bit until I get my thousand and I'm ready to go. Uh, same thing. If I want to buy a big uh, TV screen, uh, same thing. So I could use that and put that money in that jar. You only want to put about like 10% of that into that jar. Um, but very, very important. Let's say the car breaks down, right? That private reserve can actually help you for that endeavor as well. Okay, last jar is charities and gifts. All right, so this jar, it all depends on your personal personality. Um, some people don't like to give charity or don't like to give gifts, some people do. Um, growing up from a poor family, I um, still have poor family members, right? Um, that doesn't mean I don't want to help them less, I want to help elevate them. Um, but I might give them a charitable gift here or there, you know, maybe I'll give them 10, 20 bucks or something like that. Um, so just having that to decide. Uh, would also help as well because they say if you give you get back all right um, so that's much uh, my little snippet about economic empowerment stay tuned for more uh, videos from pathway to employment and feel free to join us in our zoom table talks every other Thursday from 12 to 1 p.m. thank you